I was actually on track. I was the next person. I grew up in New York. I was the next person to run for state assembly. And I left. And I moved here. And I'm a Republican in Massachusetts. Not only a Republican in Massachusetts, but to make it worse, I live in the city of Boston. So I mean, it was like, That's done. watch no. my <laughs> political aspirations. <laughs> um, so, so what do you do? You know what? You still do it. I mean, if you want to run and you're not where your network is and where it would be the best place to run, I think it's, it's one, running for office and being involved are about the relationships that you make. Mm -hmm. So it is definitely about winning, but ultimately your heart has to be in the right place. You have to want to be there. You have to want to make the, the networks and the connections of the people that you're going to meet along the line. Because sometimes, even if you don't win, those relationships will outstand any elected career you would have. Absolutely, and I would say be ready to work, right? Absolutely. Because this is door knocking, <clears throat> it's grunt work, and you have to be willing to do it. And I think that you know there are amazing programs like the one Jennifer talked about. There's the Emerge program, there's the Women's Pipeline for Change. It's really getting women um, to really be interested in running, and they go from A to Z like you do. How do you raise money? How do you put a team together? But again, it goes back to the basics, right? Is this your heart in it? Why is it there? Why do you want to run? And, and be ready to work because nothing is granted to us. And I think a lot of times folks may decide to run for office and they think it's a shoe in right? And I think Jennifer, for giving plugs in terms of elected officials, we work hard, right? And you don't hear it all the time. You don't hear it in the press. And so just know that that's a big part of it. If you want to win, you got to be willing to knock on doors, roll up your sleeves, and listen to people where they are. And to be a listener, really, that's so important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, would, yeah, I did not grow up in Massachusetts. And uh, I think it's really coming. There's got to be an issue that's driving you. There's something, or maybe several, that you know. You, and form your community yeah. and your network around those issues, those values that are saying, I want my voice heard. I want to be at the table making these decisions because of whatever it is for you. And I think you'll find a community around that wherever you go. And I hope you stay right here in Massachusetts. 